It has been a very busy summer for the Spokane Fire Department. The city suffered its worst hazmat spill in more than a decade. Crews were battling wildfires across the state. And so today, the folks at the Olive Garden wanted to say thank you. So they loaded up enough food for 55 firefighters. Chef Milo Serratore came out on his day off to make sure the meal was extra special. Well, they start with our salad, our house salad, our family's house salad, and then lasagna, and then dessert. But getting the Labor Day lasagna to 12 different fire stations while it was still hot wouldn't be easy. Fortunately, a lot of volunteers showed up to help with deliveries. They never get a day off and they work hard and they save people's lives, they save people's homes, they save people's families and pets. Kathy Miracle has worked at Olive Garden for 15 years and she's used to serving up big meals, but just last month it was her home that was threatened by a wildfire. We were at a level three evacuation two weeks ago. Um, we live out in the Airway Heights area. So it got, it got within a half a mile from the house, and so it hits really close to home. Kathy remembers the firefighters who parked their structure protection rigs between the flames and threatened homes. Residents were allowed to leave, but those firefighters were expected to stay. It's amazing what they do. So what we're doing today is nothing in comparison. The outpouring of pasta products caught firefighters here at Station 14 on the South Hill by surprise. We know that the taxpayers are paying good money in taxes each year and we try to give them excellent service every chance we can. And uh, so we don't expect anything like that and, and it's just uh, it's really wonderful that they did that for us today. Today, employees from more than 800 Olive Gardens across the country were serving up the Labor Day lasagna, but it's the firefighters here in the Pacific Northwest that probably deserved it the most. Reporting in Spokane, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.